Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So we're in St. James, I'm so excited because I'm gonna share with you guys five things to do in, huh? You guys, five things to do in St. James. I feel like there's some stuff that's not so typical that you guys can add to your itinerary if you guys are coming here to St. James. So we're gonna be all around and about. Everything is gonna be linked down below once they have a social media presence. And yeah, if you guys are interested, make sure you guys stay tuned and let's get into the first place here, which is dining on the sea here at the houseboat grill here in Montego Bay. We're here at Freeport and they, this is such a cool experience that I want you guys to be a part of because instead of dining at the typical on the land, we're gonna be dining here on a boat. I want you guys to be a part of this. So let's get into it. It's getting a little bit dark and yeah, let's go. We are here at the houseboat grill. Yeah, we're at Freeport in Mobay. I'll show you guys. You know, there's a cruise ship. So here I am walking up to the restaurant on the Instagram. It says heels not recommend wear heels because I regret not wearing heels So you go up there. They're gonna ask you if you have a reservation. Yeah, so here we are I guess on the dock and we're going on the mini boat. It's a short ride, but it's cute It's cute. It's nice. It's something different and then once we reach there you just walk over It's really easy. Nothing to be afraid of if anyone is scared you go from here, you go on this small little boat, which is this, and then they bring you on to here like this. Cool. Upstairs. <laughs> on a date, kind of nervous. So you guys can come here. If you guys have a partner, you guys can come here. Or just like if you have a girls' night out, it's cute. Look at the views here. No, I wouldn't do that. I'm fine. Okay, so we have water here for now. And then we, they gave us complimentary bread with butter. And then we're just going to order here. Here's the menu. But you guys can find their menu online. There's like three different menus. Dinner menu, drink menu, of course. And then... Good evening. Hi. Bug spray? Yeah, please. <laughs> oh, they offer bug spray here. Good. She asked if I wanted bug spray. Oh, also make sure you guys do a reservation. They let people in, but I think with the reservation, they'll... Like for sure let you in because they like two people asked me if i had reservations like yeah like an hour ago we're an hour late <laughs> oh perfect all right Thank so you. we have some specials that is not on the menu okay for appetizer we have a corn chowder with bacon bits and then for entree we have a shrimp scampi we're going to think of them come to call you okay, okay thank you oh this is it that complimentary <laughs> I would recommend bringing, putting on bug repellent too, because if, if I knew, I would have put prior to coming, because the sand flies will start biting you too. Okay. Ready? Yeah. It's night already. I'm not gonna lie to you guys though. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Oh, look at my God made a sky. Cute. How do you guys like my dress? Cute dress. Alright, this is the Jamaica. We have something. It's a drink that's called the Jamaica something. But it's cute because you guys know I love my milky drinks. That creep up on you. Oh, no. Oh yeah, the banana is sweet. Tastes good, I like it. Here's to Jamaica and exploring Jamaica and our love for Jamaica. You guys like, comment, and subscribe if you guys are liking the vlog so far, even though we just started, but yeah. Mm. Do you guys see how fast it's coming down? Okay, we got a Caesar salad as an appetizer because I, I don't know what to get. Like, I literally don't know what to get when I come here. Do like a mini mukbang with them. Nothing beats Jamaica. We need some shots because I don't taste no apple tonne at all in here. So I'm gonna ask them for a shot so we can pour it in here. My friend taught me that in Canada. He told me that if you feel like there's not enough room, you can ask for a shot. So we'll bring it. Guys, make sure if you're on my channel that you are watching my other videos on places in different parishes in Jamaica so I did Westmoreland we did Manchester we did St. Elizabeth I'll have them all linked and there's other ones as well so you guys have a look at my channel Anisha Adams follow me on Instagram TikTok at Anisha Adams too oh, yeah. okay we got it I almost hit it out of her hands Ooh. okay this is what I 
I got? I got chicken cutlets and Dijon mustard sauce, mashed potatoes, and I forgot what this is. And then the second one is silly and breaded something 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 something. But here it is. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this though because it's like big portions. <laughs> This one's just too bad. Let me cut it. You <laughs> dip it in here. So Dijon mustard chicken breast. Oh, cabbage with bacon, fish fillet, and what is this? Like coleslaw? Hmm? Oh yeah, the coleslaw is good. Oh, this is like breaks so easily. I forgot it's fish. You guys can come here and try it out. Like it's just like experience, I think, more than the actual food. Just like straight. Right? Yeah, can we get water okay. with ice? Okay. Yes, two. Thank you. I would say here is more for the aesthetic. So if you want the experience, you guys come here to eat. It's just about the experience because, as I said, we were eating on a boat, so it's cool. And um, but yeah, just make sure you guys bring a good portion of money with you. If you guys want to eat on a boat in Jamaica. Bay, but not in the middle, but out on the sea. Here it is, the houseboat grill, and I'll link it down below. And I'll um, I'll see you guys in the next recommendation. Yeah, let's go. Guys, look at the fish. Look at the fish. It's so big. There's more than one, but we can't really see them. So this is what they do. They bring you from over here, and then they bring you over here. So basically, they move from here to here on that small little cute boat house. Okay, so now this is coming back for us. Cute. This is the night view of how it looks compared to in the day, which you guys saw behind me. Oh yeah, the houseboat grill in Freeport. Okay guys, so we're here at the next spot. We're at the Montego Bay Cultural Center. Now this is perfect for families, younger children, or if you just want something to do in the day that's chill and laid back, that you're not in the hot sun, this is the perfect place because you're gonna learn a lot about Jamaican history. From then to present, you're gonna learn about a lot of well-respected artists and they offer a lot of things here. So they have walking tours and everything and it's right here in the square here at Sam Sharp Square. And they have parking here, this, which is a good thing. So it's affordable to come in. Obviously all the proceeds are gonna go back into the museum and the museum is well kept. It looks good, it's perfect. And I highly recommend. So I'm gonna link everything down below if you guys are interested in coming here as a day event. I wanna try and give you guys in my videos like things to do family friendly wise and not everything about like doing adventures and partying and no. Okay, so we're gonna get into it. So you guys, if you're ready, let's start. Okay, so we this is the armband that they're gonna give you guys as well to verify that you guys paid to get in here. Okay, we started the tour. We only paid $500 for locals. And then if you're under a certain age, it's for free. It's free for children. Honestly, just pay because the money's going back obviously to the museum. So it's a good cause. So come along. We're gonna start the tour. Okay, so we're gonna do the museum. Well, we're gonna do the regular museum first and then the National Gallery. And then they have a, like a Rastafari section as well. We're just gonna learn about history in Jamaica, black history. Oh, they have all the. Let's see if we can find our place here. Spalling, Spalling. Right here, Spallings, and they actually spelled it correctly too. This is a map of Jamaica. AJ. Yes! Yeah, I have this before. First time seeing it, right? Okay, so I guess these are the old um, technology they used to use to make mm -hmm. things. They used to measure like <laughs> peas and yeah. beans in these, oh, like really? bungo peas. Um, uh, the, the big Dutch pot that the family would boil so big. This is a machine. Uh, this one you have to use your foot for it to work. And that's a part yeah. over there. Yes, the people still have this. Let me show it because I know people still have this now in Jamaica. <laughs> oh, see here it is. Oh, look, a singer too. Oh my god. Yeah, so you guys will get a tour guide. We just didn't want to wait. They even have video heritage. This is the bell they ring when the ship, the slave ships are coming in. Oh, this is so sad. This is 
um, you ban Kayla, so you use it to execute uh, slaves. Yes. No, this is actually sad. A lot of black people, a lot of slaves went through a lot here. And the punishment is so cruel. For what reason? <laughs> Guys, it's nice here. We're, we're going to get a, um, a tour guide. But he's on break and we didn't want to wait, so... You guys will get a tour, guys, below. But if you don't want one, you just pay and do it. So I'm always trying to get here and I used to put it in a new mouth and they can't eat it here and they die. Oh, God. Oh, I'm touching. Guys, look at this. What do we know this as? Overproof from years. You can see it here. Excelsior. Certain brands have been around for decades, centuries. Like Singer, Excelsior. Look, Ray Nephew. We all know Ray Nephew been around for a while. What is it? Oh, how it was? Okay, we're gonna leave our general comments. So see you guys in the next part. Now we're gonna go upstairs because there's different parts of the museum. I'm not gonna show you guys everything because I want you guys to actually come here. It's really nice. So the National Gallery West, we're going upstairs now. So come on. part here we're in the Rastafari section and honestly so as I said before I'm not gonna show you guys everything because you guys have to come here and like just come here it's worth the liquid money that you guys are paying to come in so we went to three different exhibits here in the museum so we're here at the last one here but anyways the overall history oh upstairs I couldn't really show you guys upstairs because they said we couldn't record we could just take pictures but we learned about Albert Art what's his name Albert Artwell yeah Albert Artwell, his paintings are colorful and nice and I think every month they change up the main artists upstairs. I may be wrong, but so you guys might not come see him for whenever you guys come, but it was good. It's amazing. We had a tour guide upstairs. She gave us the in-depth information about it. Yeah, highly would recommend. It was good. So they have a next exhibition outside. You can sit down there and eat and all that because they have seating and everything, but we went out there and it's called the Freedom Monument. So it was Sam Sharp, the Emancipation War. We all know about it, if you know about Jamaica history. And it was nice. We were seeing all the people who died based on the parish that they were in. So we did like the lashings and the most that one person got was like 500. It was so sad. Like how can one person bear so much pain? And like, when you know the history about what black people went through in Jamaica, man, it's actually so sad. And you guys need to come here, I was gonna cry. This is it for this section here. I loved it, you guys have to come. It's something to do in the day. Come into the main town in St. James, try it out, you guys let me know. I'm Sharp Square as I told you guys, and you guys will like it. I loved it so much, it's a good, uh, some people might cry because it's actually sad. You guys get a deep dive through history. Okay, so anyways, let's go into the next place because we have a lot more places to go. Okay, so it's a little bit night now, but I wanted to tell you guys about this spot for those who like hookah because I know a lot of people, especially a lot of American girls, they like hookah. So I want to give you guys an option. Found this place, it's called Elevate Lounge. It's something to do in the evening and night because they open at 5 p.m. So I'll have them linked down below. And this place also has events throughout the week as well. So you guys can check on their Instagram page and see what's going on if you guys want to see any guest artists or any social events that they're going to have, okay? So yeah, let's go up there and yeah, let's see what it's about. Okay, so here's the sitting, and here's the view. I wish we came a little bit earlier so you guys can see the set, but the hip strip is just right over there. This is on the main, so it's not anywhere far or anything like that. We're here now, you guys. When you guys come to Mobay, please bring bug repellent. When you guys are going out anywhere, even if it's nightlife, please bring bug repellent because I'm getting bit. Uh, I forgot my bug repellent at home. I'm gonna leave it in my car from now on, but you guys make sure that you guys bring so you guys don't get. Ugh. Anyways, so we got the hookah. Customer service here is great. They'll tell you what's available the day that you come. I'm gonna order drinks and food. I wanna give you guys options because I know how you guys are. Look at the view behind me. How do you guys like it in this bob on me? Yeah, choose this one. Okay, so we have it here. We have, this, this is just a small cute one. We just got the standard because we asked her what should we get, premium or the standard. So this is mine. Let me try it out. Does the lighting look good? Try a whole in your breath as well. I saw her. <laughs> This is our 
long on here. Well, let me show you guys our food that we got. We just got finger foods, nothing too much. So we got barbecue wings. These ones are the crop, the spicy wings. Follow me on Instagram at Anisha Adams. Let's do a mini monk bang. <laughs> It's a barbecue. <laughs> this one tastes better. Okay, 10 out of 10 would recommend. You guys can come here for a chill vibe. If you guys want somewhere to sit down, chill, no talk with somebody, food and drink. Yeah. The vibe is good here. And people leave you alone and stuff. So. My type of vibe, no complaints. Alright. That's it really for here. There's nothing much more. So I'll see you guys in the next spot. Tomorrow's music, live music. I love live music. Music sounds better when it's live. Like with the live bands, live instruments, and live real singing. All right, so now we're here at the next spot. We're at Pineapple Beach. So every evening here at Pineapple Beach, they have a different night. So you can go on their Instagram. I'm gonna have it linked down below so you guys can figure out which night you guys wanna come here. Tonight is a live band. So they're just gonna play some music. People are gonna sing. And then tomorrow they have bonfire. The only thing I'll say on their Instagram, the time is not correct and the days. Cause today it was supposed to be live music and bonfire. When I called them, they said it's only live music today. And then Friday is our bonfire. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow just to see a bonfire. It's free to come in. It can be like a pre or pre chill thing you can do before you go out way later on in the night. So. This can come along. It's free parking too and it's easy to get to. You can use your GPS when you guys are in St. James here. Yeah! Okay, so as you can see, the live music is behind me right here. And they're just starting. It's just nice. It's simple. It's cute. I see people come here on date. Oh, did you drink too much yesterday? I got it. Don't worry about it, bud. Hey guys, it's the next night as I was telling you guys, we're gonna come for the bonfire. So, I'm gonna show you guys it. I'm just gonna get some drinks and then they play music for a bit. Oh, and next thing I want to tell you guys, you guys can dress like really nice here or you guys can do like nice casual, but just nice here because it's the nice place and the nice venue.
But yeah, so that's it for Pineapple Beach. You guys can come here. As you guys see, people were doing like a gender reveal. And it was a nice little vibe. This beach is very private. So if you guys wanted to do any intimate moments, it could be here as well. And they do bookings for things, stuff like that too. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down below. And I'll see you guys. Uh, the next place. Oh, we're still not done yet. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm popping in. Yes, my hair is changed. I found another place that's great for all ages. It's something different than partying and swimming all day. The place that we have here is called Yard Skating Rink, and it's perfect if you guys want to skate around yard style, you know, from the old 80s style um, skating. So you guys can find this place on GPS, but you have to put in Pure Ultra Lounge. The address on their Instagram page it brought me into the community near here. So search up your Ultra Lounge. I'm gonna say this again, search up your Ultra Lounge. It's in the same complex and you guys should find it. Caribbean show place, yeah. So yeah, come along with me guys. We should have fun. We're gonna skate for a little bit, listen to some music and have a fun time. Yay! Okay. Can you buy socks here though? If yeah, people you could right here. Oh, all right. Try it. Now. Okay, guys. So I have my skates on. If you guys want to buy socks here, you can, and they go by full sizes. But I brought my own socks because I knew I was coming here. But here's the. Whole ring is empty, which I'm happy about because food, dining, all that here too. It's only me alone and two other people, so. It's cute here. It's supposed to give 80 vibes, so I got my skates, and here's how they look. Wish they had like Jamaican style, and then here's my cute outfit. You guys like this outfit? I thought it was cute to wear. I had a great time. It took me five minutes to remember though because I was like, what? I caught on and it was great. You guys let me know down below in the comment section. Would you guys do this? I think this is great for all ages. I think you guys can do if you want something more chilled. Hey guys, it's nighttime now and I want to bring you guys to a club with the Like dance on regular music because you guys get the most authentic place. I'm to Jamaica for 20, 
727 lounge, but I wanted to recommend it to you guys, so in case any of you guys want this because it's packed. I mean, it's packed as in the amount of people that go there is a lot. So, yeah. So, I'll see you guys. So, that's it for tonight. Um, that's my thoughts. Would recommend, but would more than would more recommend the actual dance down here, like a road dance. You guys have to experience it down here. So, if you're not from Jamaica, basically, it's just a party. On a road, like on a back road, music's playing, all the great people are there. It's real authentic vibes. Anyways, I'll see you guys tomorrow evening. Okay. okay guys, so we're here at the last spot. I wanted to do this spot because it's super nice, it's super chill. And I feel like they need more of these places around Jamaica. Okay, so we're at Harmony Beach Park today. And guys, you guys are gonna love it. It's such a nice, cool place. And the grass here is nice. So you can literally have picnics, picnics here. You guys can come here with your blankets and like read and relax, especially later on. A lot of people do come here. They have parking here. They have a beachfront where you can come in the day and go to the beach or in the evening as well. There's a little fun park for children. And I think it's only $250 per hour. And then obviously as the time goes up, the more time you spend here, you're gonna pay a little bit more, but it's literally pocket change. And plus it's worth it because they actually maintain the park here. So at least your money is going towards, at least your money, you can see your money is actually working here at the park and stuff like that. So yeah, a lot of people come here just for chill. You'll see people like they're on, they're on their laptop. They're just chilling on, on a bench or with their friend talking and strolling the park. And trust me, you guys are not gonna be disappointed with this place, so you guys come. I think you guys are like it. It's very family friendly. It's all age oriented. So yeah, love it. It reminds me of like a really nice place in far and, like if you're in like Canada, America, you know like lakes, how it's like well maintained and really nice. It's the same thing here. So anyways, we're gonna go and walk around and I'm gonna bring you guys along. So you guys come. <laughs> So that's it for today's video you guys let me know what you guys think down below in the comments section make sure you guys subscribe and go on my page so you guys can watch more videos similar to this of different parishes and things to do places to eat places to stay and also if you guys want to see more of Mobe, you guys can obviously watch my weekly vlogs while i'm living here in st james here of course so you guys can watch it in the meantime follow me on instagram all my socials at anisha.adams let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys liked it because I had a fun time recording it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Au revoir.